I think that there is a spirit on the Duquesne campus that is created by the spirit and presence on this campus that makes it a warm, inviting, and respectful campus. Uh, and I think that is a part of the culture of the law school as well. I always say when people ask me why I, I like it here and, and wh why I'm so close to Duquesne and why it's near and dear to my heart, from the minute I walked onto this campus in 1995 as an undergraduate student, uh, it just felt like home to me. It continues to feel that way. Every single time I walk onto this campus, I just feel like this is where I belong. Giving back to the law school and students at the law school in particular through scholarships or other programs that they can directly benefit is really important. So many students don't have those opportunities. Well, the university gave me a great education um, and a really strong foundation in law. So I want to try to give back. You know, I want to express my gratitude to the university and to the law school. If you look at all the studies and all the data and the statistics, mostly they'll tell you the, the number one to two, three items in, in society that uh, can greatly affect, you know, where a, a young person could go is education. So it's very important to us to, to give back and make that impact to not only the legal community nationally and in Western Pennsylvania, but internationally as, as our graduates do great things around the world. Duquesne's generosity to its students is the reason I chose to go to Duquesne. Dean Gormley, at the time, had offered me the Gretchen Donaldson Endowed Scholarship for my first year, and then I knew that there were performance-based scholarships available for my second and third years. The generosity of Duquesne brought me here, kept me here, and gave me the base I needed to have the freedom to make the financial choices I needed to make in my life. And I am terribly, terribly grateful. And Wanting to reciprocate and return that generosity is a major reason why Duquesne is always at the top of my list on the day of giving or at the end of the year. I was a recipient of the Robison Scholarship Fund, which benefits women law students who have completed their first year of law school. Going to law school has always been my biggest dream, um, and it wasn't something that I thought I would be able to achieve. Money has always been an issue kind of for me in my law school career. Um, so knowing that I wanted to do public interest work and those opportunities are typically unpaid, I had started to look for corporate work that I knew would pay me. Um, but then finding out about the McGinley Fellowship saved me from doing something that I didn't necessarily want to do. These scholarships mean so much to students. It really takes a lot of pressure off when it comes to the financial side and really allows us to do our coursework and get some practical experience and really not have to worry about that those finances. Having alumni who are interested in giving back to students who want to pursue those passions, it's amazing. And I, I hope that one day I can be one of those alumni who also helps kind of keep the ball rolling, keeping us moving forward um, and making well-rounded attorneys who go into all areas of practice, not just corporate. I'm so proud when I hear of student successes. The dean uh, of the law school, April Barton, loves to tell you stories about wonderful experiences and wonderful successes of, of the students and the graduates. Having met so many of the law school students and hearing them be so excited to tell you about the jobs they got or the internship opportunities, it makes you proud. It makes you proud of Duquesne, but it also makes you happy that whatever support you give to the university is going to the right place. The Duquesne University School of Law benefits from every dollar of contribution, irrespective of how people designate it. And so if they, they give from their heart to the part of the law school that most benefited them, in the long run, it supports the educational mission of the university. I think the uh, machine needs oil and gasoline, and that's what contributions are. The alumni support that's given here, not only monetarily, but also back in through the various programs that the law school offers, trial advocacy, the appellate moot court program, the clinics, the legal research and writing program, those are primarily taught and coached by Duquesne alumni. And so we have our recent alums, some even a little older ones like me, who come back and work with students hands-on uh, to teach them how to try cases, to teach them how to argue uh, in front of courts of appeals, to teach them how to be in court even juvenile issues, veterans issues, criminal law issues. And that just totally sets us apart, I think, from other schools. And it makes alumni support critical because I don't think we would be able to do those things without that support. For alumni to give back to the law school and to contribute, the impact that it should have on students is to show leadership qualities 
right, to show that those who have gone through the law school and have graduated and are practicing, whether in the private sector or the public sector, that they're giving back. That's sort of a leadership position that the students should aspire to. I would think that giving students the understanding that there are scholarships, that there are programs that can help them would just give them some comfort. Maybe uh, take the stress level down a little. And law school's tough enough. <laughs> you don't need to add financial burdens or housing related burdens uh, to that list. So just giving them a little extra comfort uh, and letting them focus on their, their studies and their law school experience, I think is really important. If you can't stay in because of finance, shame on us. We should help. And this is a way of planting that little seed that may grow and make the difference in someone staying or leaving. That's our future, right? And when you choose not to invest in young people, you're choosing to divest of your future. So I will always push the young and always want to be around young people and see them do well. So I love it when I hear someone who's done that. In, in my experience, um, I want the next generation behind me practicing law to succeed. Uh, and uh, when they get a win, it's a great feeling.